With interest rates remaining low, there is increased pressure on insurance companies to grow the top line. Many executives are looking to innovation and product development to spur new revenue. Recently, we spoke with Ty Sagalo about innovation. He's a 30-year veteran of the industry and former executive at AIG Zurich & Towers, where he was involved in several of the industry's major innovations, including DNO, reputation insurance, IP coverage, and others. He is president of Innovation Insurance Group. Here are highlights of our discussion. So if you think about the commercial insurance industry in the 80s and 90s, and, and even the beginning of the 2000s, you think about one product after the other, after the other, after the other. I think that was because of a culture of creativity. Looking at your customer's needs, now that's a terribly overused phrase, but that's because most people say it and what they're really thinking is answering your customer's wants. Now Henry Ford once said that if he looked at what his customers wanted, he would have bought a, built a smaller, faster horse. Economic changes can also prompt new product development. The most obvious example of that is the uh, so-called new economy, as it was called in the year 2000, what we now know to be the internet economy, or rather, today it's simply called the economy. That prompted cyber insurance and uh, uh, today, authenticity insurance. In terms of innovation, excess capacity is a wonderful thing. Because the more capacity there is, the more competitors you have. The more competitors you have, the more it's important for you to show the customer that you can solve his needs better than the next guy. So a new product to be successful has to meet three criteria. There has to be demand. There has to be distribution, a way of getting the product to the marketplace. But of course, there has to be supply. And the supply has to be long term. Some companies take predictive modeling to an extreme. And they say, well, unless they can put the questions into a computer and get the answer, they can't come out with the product. And if that was the case, we wouldn't have any new product today. Because inherently, new products are looking forward. And if all you have is a rear view mirror, you're only going to see the cars behind you. What a wonderful phrase that was by Mike McGavitt, the CEO of, of Excel, when asked by World Risk and Insurance News, what will happen if we do not innovate? And he said, if we fail to innovate, we will become irrelevant. What a wonderful phrase that is, and I 100% agree with it. Innovate or die. If we do not innovate, we'll, we, we will become irrelevant. We'll have more of our discussion with Ty Sagalow in a future edition of World Risk and Insurance News. Ty will also be hosting a new series called Innovations in Insurance coming in March right here on RIN TV.